Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it's time for another video. Yes, it is. Woohoo! And that's Bill. You guys know. Wow! <laughs> this is two videos in a row now. What? And that's Bill. No, I mean, like, that's Bill. Like, you. Well, how else am I supposed to say it? Like, wow! <laughs> you really care for me. <laughs> I did marry you. <laughs> okay, so, anyhow. But I'm not wearing my ring. What's wrong with you? I know. It's that stupid rash that I got from that silicone one. Oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Uh, today we are doing a video on 10 great whiskeys that are $40 and under because I know so many people are like, find me a good bottle that's about $40 or under $40. Whiskey's so expensive. Like everything, there's nothing good under $40. No, there are plenty of good things yes, under $40. Are. That's why we have 10 in this video. So many great whiskeys under that 40 like $40 and under range so I think a couple of these people in certain areas struggle to find but mm -hmm. it is what it is you should be able to find most of these and if you can't that's why there are so many in this yep. video because if you can't find one of them you can find another one yep all right you want to start this yes let's you go you want to start or you want me to start um you know what I'll start this you time you start it I'm gonna start this time go for it I'm gonna start off with one that you guys probably get used to see me saying every time we do a video and that's wild turkey 101 i freaking love it's not a list without that it's not a list without it especially at the price point you cannot go wrong this is under 30 dollars yeah it's like yeah it's maybe like 20 i think it's like 22, 22 or so 22 bucks yeah. somewhere depending on where we go someplace a little higher someplace a little lower but wild turkey 101 is the quintessential bourbon in my opinion mm -hmm. 100 proof 101 proof obviously uh just really good you guys know it's good it's a good classic it goes well with many things it you can make a cocktail with it if you want you can drink it neat it's still delicious yes it is. so that's the first one gotta start it off right with a well, great whiskey. let's leave this one here and then let's just pull the other one out oh yeah another one oh yeah it's the 101 rye mm. it's so damn good it is like, so i love it i love it. i love wild turkey rye um, like you get to the master keeps and stuff, they're so good. But the, for the under forty bucks, this Wild Turkey One Hundred and One makes great old fashions, uh, great Sazeracs, anything. Like this, I prefer this in cocktails over this. But it's it's such rye. a good bottle of whiskey. It is. You can't go wrong with either no. one, nope. and it's gonna satisfy any palate. Yep. So, so the Turkey Train. Well, I guess since we we're on the Turkey, turkey train, train, do we want to keep on it? I got a turkey. You, you got another one right there. Yep, I do. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go to our final turkey. But sorry, where, where's a forty dollar one without some turkey on it? Well, probably not. Doesn't exist. It probably doesn't exist. <laughs> it's such great value, and that's what we got. Russell's Russell's tenure. Yep. I really think this is a great bottle, and I, you know, it's funny because like sometimes I've said I didn't love it as much, and then I put it in a blind, or I got it in what's in, in the box. In blinds, it doesn't do good, but by itself, it's great. Well, I guess what's in the box was kind of a blind. So but I mean, I oh. when you're doing it compared yeah. with other things. Yeah, compared with other things, it usually doesn't do as well. But then I did it in a blind and what's in the box recently, and it's really good. Mm -hmm. It is. It's just good, mm -hmm. easy drinker, creamy. It's really creamy. I think that's 90 proof. Yeah, 90 proof. Yeah, it's just it's crushable. Yeah. Crushable under 40 bucks or right around 40 mm -hmm. bucks. So. Yeah, I think 35 here in Denver mm -hmm. is what it is. Yeah. So, that range. I think we got got that one on sale for under thirty. I think, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy. A, a ten-year whiskey for under thirty bucks. That is insane. Oh yeah, it made me think of Eagle Rare. Like that's one we don't have in this pile. Yeah, that's, that's a little. That's a lot harder to find than some of these others. Yeah. But Eagle so, Rare is a good one, but not on this list. It's not on this list. Spoiler so, alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. It, we do love it. Do. Um, Speaking of Buffalo Trace, let's go Buffalo Trace. This is one of those that some people have a hard time finding. Mm -hmm. uh, right now in Denver, you can walk into nearly any store and find this. Store picks of it actually around right now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Buffalo Trace is just a great, easy drinking, approachable, anyone's gonna love it bottle of whiskey. Yeah, it's super good. It's a classic, classic mm -hmm. bourbon flavors. Yep. Really, I mean, and it does have a hint of cherry in it because yep. Buffalo Trace, but it's so good. And the store picks are so good, and they're like 26 bucks in Denver. Yep. yep. So. Yeah, to me, this could sound bad. It might not. Who knows? But to me, this is kind of one of those bottles I want to go to and start drinking. If I just, I just don't want to think about what I'm drinking. I just want a good whiskey. Um, and that's kind of how Wild Turkey 101 Bourbon is for me, too. Just, I don't want to think about it. I just, yep. I want a good whiskey. That's it. 
I agree. And I also think this is like a good one to introduce new people yep. to. Like if they're first starting out in the whiskey journey, because I mean, it's very approachable at the 90 everyone proof. Everyone knows Buffalo Trace. Yeah, everyone knows Buffalo Trace, but also 90 proof is super approachable. Yep. It has good flavor and it's not gonna be like very intimidating to someone new. So yeah. Delicious. Um, let's see here. What's ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. What have I done? I don't Do know. that one. This one? Yep. All right. Well, gotta bring out the brown foreman and that is- Well, oh. it's not anymore. Oh, it used to be. Now it's yeah, Sazerac, Sazerac, right? Yeah. And they have a, they're a uh, blue screw cap. Yeah, well, this is the old bottle. This is the old bottle. This is old bottle, early times, bottled and bond. You really can't go wrong with this. Yep. Under $25, I think, somewhere around that range. Yeah, I don't remember what it is. I can't either. And but it's a liter. It is a liter. It's like and a liter of cola. 100 proof, freaking delicious. <laughs> it's really delicious. I really like it. And I really like it. It's good. <laughs> I yep. Can, I don't know where I was going. I was like. <laughs> yep. It's a delicious bottle. I can start dancing again. It's a delicious bottle. I let's like. Just, let's continue with the video and stop the dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's uh, like, oh my god, who is this from? Yes, yeah. great bottle. What's another one? Um, we're going to go with this one. Ooh. Old Force 100. Uh, we did a blind of the low proof Old Forcers. Yeah. Yeah, which had some of the Whiskey Row series, and I think. The, both hundred proofs finished on top, but for the money, this one's where this one's where it's at. Yeah. The hundred proof old Forester, and this one's really good in cocktails too. It is. It's good in cocktails. It's good by itself to drink yep. neat. It's just like if you like sweet bananas, oh, you yeah. like a good caramel banana vanilla flavor. That's it right well, there. Nothing beats a good metal screw top. <laughs> Granted, we got another one with a metal screw top coming up. Who but, cares? Uh, yeah, that's doesn't change the way the whiskey nope, tastes. Nope, it's just a great bottle. Yep. Um, you can't go wrong with it. I mean, I, yeah, go with 186, you can pass on by the hundreds. Yeah, hundreds for sure. Yep, it's a so. great bottle. All right. Um, Next one on my list is, I got two left, right? Yep. I'm gonna go with this one. The other screw top. The other screw top. <laughs> I love Benchmark Foolproof. It's so freaking good. It tastes like a butterscotch bomb and you get it at 125 proof. Can't find it here in Colorado, but you can find it in other places. Kentucky, they have it there. Yep. Uh, 22, 25, like somewhere, that. somewhere around that. Under thirty dollars, super crushable, not crushable, oh. sippable, super sippable, very and delicious. sweet butterscotch. Yeah, it's just good. Can't go wrong with it. It's a and, buffalo trace, I guess. And we have two bottles in this video that were on the previous video, so <laughs> it's just kind of funny, just because they fit and it's just that we love them. I knew, That's why they ended up in video. We've had so many of these bottles and videos before, mm -hmm. but yeah, you can't go wrong with the that benchmark. And who knows when people watch this because they might not have watched True. the other video. So yeah, delicious bottle, can't go wrong with it, and affordable. All righty, I'm gonna go with what's on my hat. Jack Daniels Jack Daniels Bonded. bonded. Mm. It's a great bottle. It is, it's really good. Yep. I like that it tastes like a classic bourbon even though it's not a classic bourbon, it's a whiskey because it's Tennessee whiskey. But it's, good. it's so good. It's good like caramel, vanilla, got a light oakiness to it. It's just, it's really nice and enjoyable and I like it. Banana -y. I, yeah. Not super banana y compared to some though. Yeah. Like some Jack Daniels. But I really, I really like this one. I like it better than the triple mash, but. Yeah, I and I'm pretty sure this one comes in around $35 or so. I don't, hopefully it's not over 40. I don't I'm, think it is. Not, in, not for us. Yeah, I don't. We've never. So. Yeah. That's Jack Daniels bonded. JD bonded, baby. Yep. The 700 milliliter bottle that they're changing to. I don't think that's that big of a deal. No, it's literally know. one pour. Yeah. Different than yep. the other well, bottles. Uh, it, to me, company-wise, it makes sense. That way, they don't have different glasses. They can buy one glassware and ship it, it anywhere in the yep. world. Yep. So anyway, that's okay. a different topic. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on to my next bottle or my last bottle. Last one. Last for bottle. You. And that is one I always bring out. Blue Note Juke Joint, uncut, unfiltered, so freaking good, so delicious, $40. Like, this is the best value that you can find for $40, I think. Uh, on the table, out of all the bottles we have on the table, mm -hmm. uh, depending on my mood, I guess. Yeah, I think it just depends on mood. Depending on mood, but this is such a fantastic value for what it is. It's super freaking good, and I can't say enough about it. I have tried so many different single barrels of Juke Joint, Uncut, Unfiltered, yep. and I've loved them all. And yeah, you've loved them all. Good. They've all been really good. 
Yeah, can't go wrong. You literally can't go wrong, so. Alrighty, and I'm going to... Ooh, one of my favorites. OGD 114. The, so good. The one with the wide mouth glass. It does have the a wide mouth. The size of that mouth. cork is just massive. It's massive. It's like those one liter sodas you can buy at the gas station. Like oh, the, yeah, with <laughs> the a The Mountain Dew that has a big wide mouth mm -hmm. in it. Yeah, no it's, way. And then you but, just pour it all yeah, over yourself. OGD 114, it's just so damn good. Love it. This one can be hard to find, mm -hmm. um, but I know in Denver, it's you should be able to find it. I've seen it everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, it, it's it's a great bottle. It's got that Jim Beam peanut flavor to it. Mm -hmm. but, peanut uh, and cinnamon. Yeah, and it's... It's good. It's inexpensive. I mean, what does it run? Under it's like twenty seven. I want to say twenty seven to thirty three. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere in there. that range. Yeah. It's it's not an expensive bottle, and it's so damn good. It gets you up to that one fourteen proof. Um, I have had this one in some old fashions and stuff. Oh, oh it does. It works really good in old fashions because of the, the proof. Just it, it's so good. It is. So. Uh, yeah. I feel like if you were watching this and you wanted to count how many times we said so good, you could be very drunk by the yeah, end of the video. Yeah, yeah. So good. So good. So good. Ba, ba, so good. <laughs> I got a you. Do, 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 do. Okay. That's our last bottle. That's our last bottle. That's 10. That's 10. 10 bottles at $40-ish and under. Uh, let us know what your favorite $40 and under bottles are. We're always curious. You always want to see the list. So let us know in the comments and... Let us know if you agree with our list and if you like the bottles we put in there. So that's what we got for you. Yep. Uh, as always, I'm Dara. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Oh, be sure to hit that like button. And also leave a comment. It really does help. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that. Anyhow, I'm going to stop ranting. So I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> you mean day. rambling? Rambling. Ra oh, that's yeah. not ranting. <laughs> rambling. Yeah rambling. Okay, you guys have a wonderful day and we will see you next time.